Space Kids Face Less videos get hundreds to thousands of views and earn the channels hundreds to thousands of dollars per month. So in this video, I'll show you yet another way you can go about making kids animation videos for a channel like this very easily using Canva. So the first thing you would need to do is get ideas for your video. Now in order to do this, you can go about doing it in two different ways. The first way would be coming on over to ChatGPT and then once on ChatGPT, you can go ahead to ask it a prompt like this. Give me 10 kids 2D animation animation story ideas and then hit enter. So now as you can see, it has gone ahead to give me 10 different ideas, but not only has it given me the ideas, for example, space explorers, but it also gave me a brief explanation of what exactly the 2D animation would be about. Second way you can go about getting ideas for your videos is coming up with some things from your own head. You could easily do this by just taking a notepad or memo pad or Google doc and then writing your own idea down. For example, I wrote down this idea, which is about Bruno the hot dog dog who loves taking walks and seeing things on his walks. Very simple and to the point. However you decide to get your idea for your animation, once you have that done, it's time to move on to the second step, which is creating the script for your video. Now when it actually comes to generating the script, it all depends on how you came up with your idea. If you did it the second way, which is creating the idea yourself, you can also go ahead to do the same method where you come up with your script yourself. Now if you don't want to come up with it yourself or you're not exactly sure how to make the script but you maybe have the idea, what you can do is come on over to ChatGPT and then once on ChatGPT, you want to go ahead to ask it this prompt. Give me a 2D animation story about and then here is where you'll set the story idea and then it says describe the scenes and backgrounds and what the narrator will say. So here in that area, you just want to insert the idea. So if you chose one of these, you can go ahead to simply copy it and then paste it in. Or if you decided to use your own story idea, you could copy it and paste it in as well. From there, all you'd need to do is hit enter. And as you could see, ChatGPT has gone ahead to generate me exactly what I wanted. It has the first scene, which is called introducing the team. Then it goes ahead to describe the background. It goes ahead to write exactly what the narrator says. And then it gives me a description of what exactly the scene looks like. Now, again, you don't have to use this exactly. You could simply use it as an inspiration to know exactly what you want to do. So you choose whichever way you want to go about generating the script. For the sake of this video, I am going to use this nice, short and simple script that I've created. But once your script is done, it's time to move on to the next step, which is creating a 2D animation. So in order to create the animation, what you want to do is come on over to Canva. You could find the link for Canva in the description below. Once on Canva in this search box, what you'd want to do is simply do a search for YouTube video chapter and then hit enter. And then once you've done that, what you want to do is click here where it says create a blank video chapter. And then it's going to take you to this page where you can now begin generating the animation. So now this is where you'd want to go back and forth from your script to know exactly what it is you need to create. So if it was ChatGPT, you'd come here and read the first in a cozy suburban background with a tree house. So you would know okay i need to generate this as my background in my case because i'm using a story i wrote it's about a dog walking on the street home so what i would need is a street background and a dog walking so in order to do this i'd first need to get the street background so i'd come on over to where it says elements and then i would simply do a search for streets background and then click where it says graphics and then i could scroll through this and see which one i like so when you find the one that you want to use all you need to simply do is click onto it and then just like that it will be added into your scene from here what you need to do is grab the corners and adjust the sizing of it till it's to a point that you think will fit your needs well. Next, I need to get my dog. So in order to get the dog, what I'd want to do, I'd simply do a search for dog walking. And then the important part is you want to get an animated one. You can choose a static one, but it just won't be the same. Let me show you what I mean. Where you see this filter option here, you want to simply click onto this and then you want to click animated and then click out. Once you've done that, go to graphics and here you could see the animated icons of things that are similar to your search. From here, want to scroll through and find one that you think would look good for your video. When you find the one you like, all you need to do is click onto it and it's going to be added into your scene. So I'm going to flip it around and then from here you want to adjust the sizing of it so that it fits your scene well. So now that I've adjusted it, as you can see, I have my first scene where is my hot dog dog simply just walking down the street as shown in my first paragraph, which says Bruno the dog loves to walk home. Now I simply can't just leave it like this, can I? Though there's a little bit of animation up front, if I were to press play right now, as you can see, the dog is in the same place moving. This is not engaging for a kid. You need to animate this even more. In order to animate it even more, what I'd want to do is click onto the dog and then I'll click where it says animate and then I'm going to click create an animation and now I can go ahead to click onto the dog and drag it across the screen to make it look like it's actually walking down the street. Simply drag it across the screen as you can see. He's getting his walk home. 
and then once it's off the screen you simply want to unclick and now as you can see my dog is walking down the street now it's a bit wobbly so what i suggest you do under movement styles we could either do smooth or steady just try them both out and see how they look and then here's what steady looks like I typically like to go for steady and then what you could also do is actually increase the speed of how your dog is walking whether you want it to be super fast not that fast or a bit slower and then if you want you could further add some motion effects by adding a bit of rotate or flicker or pulse or even a wiggle now in my case that's not really what i want for this instant the walk is just fine once this is done all you need to do is click done and now let's go to the start and press play now we have the first scene practically done now it's time for the second scene this is where your skills come into play from here you'd have to go back to your script and figure out what your second scene is in my case it's the dog as he walks home he sees a flying squirrel so i need to generate this the first thing of course is to get your background and your icons ready so because it's still down the street what i would simply do is duplicate this scene so i'd click onto the three dots and click duplicate scene and then from here i'd want to remove the animation on the dog so i simply click onto the dog click where it says custom and delete path now he doesn't have an animation if i hit play it's still so i still need the dog walking and as for the background the first and the second background cannot be the same that means he didn't really walk did he so what you'd want to do is simply if there is something noticeable like this lamppost what you'd want to do is simply drag your background a bit to the side so it doesn't seem that much noticeable so now it seems mostly different the next thing i need is the flying squirrel so i'll go ahead to do a search for this and just as before you want to click onto the filters and click animate Animated, and then see if there are any animated graphics that you could utilize so from here all i need to do is really just adjust the sizing of this flying squirrel and then i could easily add him into my video so now that you have your elements ready what's the next step you need to animate it so because as you could see in the last scene he walked completely out of the scene here you'd want him to be entering the scene so in order to do this you'd push him as far back at the end as you can and then you're going to do the same as before click animate click create an animation and now you're going to click onto him and drag him across the screen so we're gonna put him like this he sees the squirrel he's like oh and then he goes continue walking and then he goes off the screen okay and then once you're done what you need to do is the same as before adjust the settings so as you can see he's walking down the street he sees the squirrel he takes a step back then he continues on his walk home like nothing's happening as you could see and then once that's done all you need to do is click done and then you need to do the same thing you need to animate the squirrel if you notice the squirrel actually flies over the dog i don't want that i want it to fly behind so when i get here all you need to do is click where it says position and then you could click layers and then you could simply drag whichever layer you want behind in my case i'd want the squirrel behind the dog so now if we take a look at it the squirrel passes behind the dog and then when it comes to create your other scene you do the exact same thing you'd read your script and see what the next scene is so i would do the same process again and animate it until i have my entire story animated and then once you've done creating in your entire animation if you just take a look this is when he sees the squirrel this is when he sees the cat though it may look more engaging there's more you can do to make it even more engaging you could add in even more background animations let's call it so for example i could add a car coming down the street so i could go ahead to do a search for a car ensure that i have animated selected go to graphics and then find a car that i could add to my video and then i can go ahead to adjust the sizing of it and then from here i could do what i did before which is animate it so i'll put it towards the beginning click animate click create animation and then simply animate the car driving across the screen like this very easy and to the point then i'll be sure to hit steady i'll increase the speed to make it way faster and then as you could see the squirrel flies behind it you don't want this so i'll go ahead to adjust positions once again and then make sure that the squirrel is in front of the car and now let's take a look see if i wanted to i could even add another car going in the opposite direction now if we take a look at this scene as you can see there's a lot more happening now it could end up being too much for what you want so add in extra graphics however you see fit and when you've done this your actual raw animation is done from here you need to add in the finishing touches to make it complete the first finishing touch is the voiceover now you can go about doing this in two different ways you can record your own voiceover if you'd want and then simply upload it into canva in the upload sections or if you don't want to use your voice and then you want to utilize an ai voice you can also do this by coming on over to 11 labs you could find the link for it in the description below but once on 11 labs what you simply need to do is insert your script so i'll go ahead to go to my memo pad 
that and then take piece of my script which is this one copy it come back to 11 labs and paste it in from here you'd need to select the voice you'd want to use in your video in order to do this you want to click onto this drop down arrow here and then you want to search for all the different voices it gave you play them see which one you like and then select the one which works best once you've found a voice you like if you want you could further edit the voice settings by clicking onto where it says settings and then adjusting these attributes you don't have to do this if you don't want to you could simply use it as it is and then from here all you need to do is click where it says generate speech and then it's going to go ahead to generate the speech for you then you need to play it and see if you like what it sounds like so let's take a listen the dog loved his walks home. See, simple and to the point. So from here, you need to download your voiceover. So in order to download it, you simply click where it says download, and then you'd come back on over to Canva, and then you'd upload that audio you just downloaded from 11 Labs. Now, once the audio has been uploaded, what you need to do is adjust the playhead to where you want the sound to come in. So mine is at the beginning, and then you'd simply want to click onto the audio, and as you can see, it's now been added in. So now if I press play, Bruno the dog loved his walks home. And then from here, you can go ahead to adjust the timing of your clip, whether you want it to be the precise timing, but note well, it will make your animation faster. Bruno the dog loved his walks home. If you want, you can just adjust it to be a little while longer so that the audio plays, but then there's still room left at the end. Bruno the dog loved his walks home simple like this and that's what you'd want to do for your entire animation you'd want to get your script so whether it be from ChatGPT, you'd simply copy it come on back to 11 labs and then paste it in and download it and then you'll simply keep adding it into all the scenes in the exact positions where you need them to be and as you can see i've added in all my voiceovers once you have your voiceovers added in the next thing you need to do is add in a background music it's not a good skit video without some kids background music in order to find some music you can find it on canva itself by coming back on over to Ele and then going to where it says audio and then doing a search for what you want so i'll do something like kids music and then ensure i have audio selected it's gonna take you to this section where you could see all the different songs you could choose from what you'd want to do is play them see what they sound like until you find the one that works good for you when you find the one that works good for you what you want to do is again adjust your playhead to the beginning of your video and then simply click on the audio you want and as you could see it's now been added into your scenery let's take a listen the dog his Did you notice something? The background music is way too loud covering the actual sound of the voiceover. So what you'd need to do from here is adjust the sound of it. You'd simply click onto the background sound and then you'd click where you see the volume button and then you'd just go ahead to reduce the volume to it's to a point where it doesn't sound overpowering to the voiceover. Something else you could do is go to where it says audio effects and add a little bit of a fade into the music and a bit of a fade out. Now from here, if you want, you could even go as far as adding different sound effects. So for example, in this this section where it shows the cat i can go ahead to do a search for meow and then go to where it says audio and now as you can see if we take a listen to this or even this one canva has many different sound effects you could utilize in your video and in order to add it in it would be quite simple you'd adjust the playhead to where you'd want the audio to begin simply click onto it and now it would be added into your scene of course you'd need to adjust the volume of it so it's not too loud so now let's see what it looks like and then you saw a chubby cat laying on its back so as you can see, there was a nice little cat sound effect in the background. So if there's other places you could add it into your video, be sure to add it in. So I'll go ahead to do so right now. Now, once you have all your scenes created, all your animations done, all your voiceovers added in, your background music and your sound effects, the last thing you need to do is add transitions between the scenes so that they flow well and it's not a hard cut. What I mean is this. Look at how this flows right now. As he it's a bit of a hard cut so in order to change this what you'd want to do is hover your mouse between the two scenes and you'll see this option which says add transition you'd want to click onto it and then you could select any of these different transitions that you'd like so that the scenes can change too i recommend you slide but you could use whichever one works best for you once you've done it for one all you need to do is click where it says apply between all pages and now if we take a look at this as he walks. There's a nice perfect transition between every single page. Now once you're done with this, your video is complete. All you need to do is download it so that you could upload it to your YouTube channel. And in order to download it, all you need to do is click where it says share and then you're going to click download. Ensure that you have mp4 selected. All you need to do from here is click download and your video will be downloaded to your computer. So now I'm sure you're wondering, okay Monique, what does this look like? Let me show you. Bruno the dog loved his walks home. As he walked down the street, he saw a squirrel flying in the sky. He walked and walked some more, and then he saw a chubby cat laying on its back. Bruno even saw a man walking while reading a book. And before Bruno knew it, he was already home. Nice! 
cute simple to the point and engaging now of course when you're doing this for yourself you want to spend a way more time on your video be a bit more creative with your idea and your flow but that's all it takes it's that easy and that simple and just so you know i have many students who actually create videos like this and get anywhere from five to even tens of thousands of views on their videos so if you wanted to start a channel like this or already do have a channel like this or just wanted some new ideas for how you can create more videos in canva now you know how but hold on now don't click on this video yet because if you wanted to learn more from me which you probably should then you need to check out this other video on my channel